we have been working in low Earth orbit for a long time, for which we have technology, which is a material technology, material shielding. They call sometimes passive shielding also. But then if you leave low Earth orbit, we don't have technology for that. Going to new territory, of course, you have to think of new, new technology too. The best strategy to avoid radiation is the one you can do. And active shielding doesn't let the radiation go where you don't want it to go. The same, same charges repel each other, you know. So we place on the outer side the negative spheres and negative charges, so the plasma is that way. Then we have another kind of set of spheres which are positively charged, so positive charge also don't go through them and they bend around. What we have done, of course, we have established the feasibility concept that it does work. At the minimum, it's 75% more effective. So it is an enormous advantage. We have validated in lab for negative charges, which is plasma. And then next step, you know, depending upon what funding we get, of course, we will validate for, uh, for uh, the ions also. Once we have validated, then everything is done deal. We have to optimize everything. So Gaussian structure is one of the things we have to optimize. So they are folded when the spacecraft is launched then they deploy, you know, when you go. So the, the payload penalty is less. The payload is a dictating factor, you know. Of course, if payload is not right, if you don't get off the ground, you are not business. And Gasomar has been successful, and, you know, why not take advantage of that? So we are here to take advantage of whatever exists. Uh, space registration has been identified uh, by Office of Chief Technologist, one of the grand challenges. So here we are going to area that, okay, we know a lot of radiation is there, which will be different, of course, but biological effects we don't know. So we have to design some strategy, you know. It's such an exciting time for radiation.